in the last class we have seen what is combinatorial argument i told you create a story okay and that story you think in two ways so that is very simple okay these are very interesting problems if you if you can create a story just create a story and think about that story in two ways okay so this is the idea now let's see some more combinatorial arguments so this combinatorial argument let's see what this is saying this is saying that n c r r is going from 0 to n that is equal to 2 power n so can anyone tell me what story you will create for this what story you are going to create create a story so this is the question create a story so which story you will create create a combinatorial argument create a combinatorial argument so when you see this when you see this 2 power n what comes to your mind what comes what comes to your mind when you see this 2 power n it means number of subset right yes or no in okay to your mind what will come it will come that number of subset i can say it will come to your mind that 2 power n okay so this 2 power n i can create this story just create this story what is the story sub create subset of a set okay so let's assume you have a set and so for example let's assume you have this set okay what this set means this set means 1 2 n so this is your set now okay so create subsets create subsets so you need to create subset this is your story now what is the side one of this story tell me this is your story story is create subset this is create subset this is your story and okay create subset of a set of a set of a set this of a set this means okay and this is your this is your set of cardinality n this is your set now so what is the side one of the story the side one of the story you already know the side one of the story what is the number of subset what is the number of subsets so number of subsets will be 2 power n this is the side one of the story what is the side two of the story for the same story what is the side two what is the side two that will be you can create subset of size 0 subset of size 1 subset of size 2 and so on yes or no i can say you can create you can create subset you can create subset of size 0 okay or plus subset of size 1 subset of size 1 plus subset of size 2 size 2 and so on and so on subset of size n correct yes or no so number of subset you already know this is the side one of the story number of subset is 2 power n now number of subset you can calculate like this also like number of subsets what is the number of subsets of size 0 what is the number of subsets of size 1 what is the number of subset of size 2 and what is the number of subset of size n so what is the number of subset of size 0 number of subset of size 0 means from n elements you are selecting zero element from n elements you are selecting zero elements right so there are n elements we have from these n, n elements you are selecting zero element you are not selecting anything from n elements you can select one element from n elements you can select two elements and so on from n elements you can select n elements so these two side one and side two they are same yes or no side one and side two they are the they are the two side of the same story they are the two side of the same story so i can say 2 power n this is the number of subset this is same as okay number of subset of size 0 number of subset of size 1 number of subset of size 2 number of subset of size 3 and so on number of subset of size n so what we got we got 2 power n is equal to summation n c r where this r is going from 0 to n you can note this n is fixed this n is fixed so i can say n c r and this r is going from 0 to n so this is your story for this equation so i can say remember the summation of binomial coefficient that is 2 power n this is very important can you notice the summation of binomial coefficient these are called binomial coefficients this ncr what is this this ncr this we call we call it binomial coefficient we call it binomial coefficient why we call it binomial coefficient i will tell you 
but you can notice summation of binomial coefficients from nc0 to ncn if you notice this summation if you notice this is equal to 2 power n and this is important okay let's see another did you understand this create a story and think about the problem in two ways side one of the story side two of the story same story you think in two ways very simple idea let's see this one can you create a story for this this equation you have and for this equation what story we can create let me tell you how to think what what story to create let me uh, let me tell you how to think see it's like this so tell me when you see this what comes to your mind just tell me when you see this what comes to your mind that we need to select k people it's it simply means we need to select k people and k is going from 0 to n so basically we need to subset okay k is going from 0 to n so this is subset of n people yes or no k is going from 0 to n just look at these two if you look at these two what will come to your mind just look at okay so what i am saying i am saying this and this just look at these two so if you look at these two what comes to your mind if you look at these two it means subset of n people you are creating subsets of n people right you are creating subsets of n people agree or not because k is going from 0 to n you are choosing k people you are choosing k people but k is going from 0 to n is this clear to everyone very simple okay you are choosing k people but k is going from 0 to n so it means it means you are creating subsets of n people you are creating okay this will come to your mind and when you see this k so you can notice so if you are selecting these k people like k is going from 0 to n if you are selecting these k people this k is a designated person this k how many designated like how many fixed person you can select okay what i am saying so let's assume you are selecting k people let's assume there are k people in front of you okay you have selected k people so there are k people in front of you you want to make one of them president how many ways you make you want to make one of them president how many ways k ways okay so one is one designated element one designated element one designated element okay one designated element so this is the idea okay i just want to tell you how to create a story this is how you can create a story so when you see this k equal to 0 to n and you are selecting k people it means you are creating subset of n people and this in front of you you have k people you have selected k people in front of you you have k people then how to select one designated person like president how to select one president there are k ways so this is your story that's it so what is the story so let me tell you the story okay so this is our story now our story is you have n people there are n people this is our story you have total n people and from n people okay create subset so select subset of n people select subset of n people select a subset of sorry su select subset select subset from these n people from these n people okay so you select a subset from these n people so there are total n people you select a subset from these n people and and what to do you select subset from n people and make one of them president make one of them make one of them president very simple yes or no so this is your story now tell me what is the side one of the story remember this is your story now let's think about what is the side one of this story how can you solve this story how can okay this is your problem now just consider this is your problem you have total n people from those n people you want to select a subset from these n people and you want to make one of them president then what you can do one way is this what is the one way first you select subset then you make president this is side one of the story means how can i solve this story how can i solve this story what i can do first i can create a first i can select a subset of people then i can create a president yes or no 
this is how i can solve this story do you agree so first what i can do first make first first make a subset from these n people from these n people okay so first you make a subset from these n people then 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 okay so this is what i can say so first you make and then from that subset make one president from that subset make one president make one president so this is your idea so you can notice so what i can do here what what i can do i can create a subset okay so from n people i can create i can select k people and this k will go from where to where this k can go from 0 to n this k this can go from 0 to n agree because because i am creating subset from n people there are n people i am creating subset from n people so what i can do i can select k people i can select but this k can go from 0 to n yes or no then and from and then okay so after this what you do now what you do now once you select these k people now you make one of them president so there are k ways now you make one of them president is this clear to everyone are you getting this point what i am saying so this side one is like this this side one is like this so first you like for example you select zero people like for example, you select zero people and make one president. You select zero people and make one of them, one of them president. One of them president. Okay. Or, or, or what you can do? You can select one people. You can select one people. And what you can do? Make one of them president. Make one of them president. Right? Yes or no? like this or or like this you go on like this you go on you select n people and make one of them president you select n people okay and make one one of them president so this is the idea now this is the idea so first you like for example you select you select zero people you select zero people and you make one of them president i'm i'm just explaining the side one this side one of the story this i am explaining i am giving you little bit more explanation of from where i got this okay i am just explaining from where we got this so basically you can select zero people and from that you can make one of them president you are selecting zero people now how many ways to make one president you are selecting zero people how many ways to make make one of them president zero way zero way plus you are selecting one person you are selecting one person now you are making one of them president how many ways only one way because you have already selected one person you have already selected one person remember you have already selected one person now you are making one of them president so already one person you have selected on your in your front in front of you you have one person now you are making him president so only one way next from n people you can select two people you are selecting two people one of them you are making president how many ways one of them you are making president how many ways two ways and so on you are selecting n people one of them you are making president n ways i hope this point is clear and this is nothing but summation of k equal to 0 to n k equal to 0 to n n c k multiplied by k yes or no so this is the side one of the story means first you select the people first you create a subset then you make one of them president what is the another way what is the side two of the story what is the another way first you directly select a president so first you directly select a president so first you make okay president this is the this is the another way first select one president first directly select Okay, first directly select one president. So just okay, just directly select who will be the president. Mm -hmm. Then, then, then select other subset of people. Then select a subset of people. Then select a subset of remaining people. Yes or no? Then select 
a subset of remaining people this is the idea okay very simple very simple first you directly select one president and then what you do you select a subset of remaining people so how many ways to select one president how many ways to select one president these many ways these many ways to select one president now you select from the remaining people you select a subset how many subset you can create 2 power n minus 1 yes or no from the remaining people you create a subset you select a subset from remaining people remaining people are n minus 1 people from those people you select a subset of those people so you, okay how many subset you can create 2 power n minus 1 these many subsets you can create okay so finally answer will be what side one is equal to side two side one is equal to side two so i can say summation k equal to zero to n n c k multiplied by k or i can say k multiplied by n c k this is equal to n two power n minus one okay is this clear Remember, I can also, the same thing I can also write from k equal to 1 to n. Yes or no? Can you notice? The same thing I can also write from k equal to 1 to n. Because anyway, the, the, the one term will be 0. See, this anyway will be 0. This will be 0. Anyway, this is 0. This is anyway 0. So, you can also say, you can also say that this is also correct. This is also correct. And this is also correct because anyway, this term, when you take k equal to zero, when you take k equal to zero, this will be zero. When you take k equal to zero, this will be zero. So anyone has any doubt? So we created one story. See, this is interesting. Are you finding this interesting? Like these, these identities, these combinatorial identities, how we are proving them. If you prove this, then you can create one story and how to create one story. I told you. That basically, if you look at this, if you look at this and this, if you look at this, then you will see that basically you are selecting K people, like, but K is going from 0 to N. So you are selecting a subset of people. Okay, you are selecting a subset of people. This is what you are selecting. And you are making one, one making, you are making one of them president. So this is your story. N people, our target is to select a subset of N people and make one of them president. So two things we are doing. We are doing two things. We are selecting a subset of people and we are making one of them president. Two things we are doing. Now, these two things you can do in two orders. Is this clear? Tell me. So basically, this is the uh, conclusion. So this is your story. You can notice your story is that you are select, you are making a subset. You are making a subset from N, from N people. You are making a subset. And the second thing that you are doing, so you are doing one thing. Let's call it first thing. And the second thing is from this subset, you make one president. Make one of them president. One of the selected ones. One of the, uh, one of them, one of, make one of them from subset, from selected subset. Okay. Make one of them from selected subset a president. A president. So this is what we are doing. So, okay, I can say this is your two. So we need to do two things. We need to do one and two. These two things we can do. So side one is basically one followed by two. First you do one, then followed by two. Side two is basically first you do two, then first you select president, and then you make a subset. Then you, okay, from the remaining, you make a subset. So this is the idea. This is the conclusion. So did. So did you understand? Very simple. And this is a gate exam question. Let me tell you. Okay. You can check in the gate exam. This is a gate exam question. I think 2017 or 2018. This was a gate exam question. In the gate exam, if anyone tries to solve it by algebraic method, it will take a lot of time. If you try this question by algebraic method, you can just think about it. It will take a lot of time. So in the gate exam, how will you do it? In the gate exam, how will you do it? In the gate exam, you can take value. See, in the gate exam, you can take value. Small value you can take. 
you can take value of n value of k small value you can take in the gate exam in the gate exam you don't have to show off your knowledge okay in the gate exam our target is to get the marks okay so whatever you do just get the marks so in the gate exam you can solve this question using taking values but let me tell you in the gate exam when this question came they did not uh, they, they they framed it in such a way that you cannot take values okay so basically there were two statements statement one statement two and they were asking which statement is correct and something so sometimes in the gate exam you can't take values for example if someone gives you a nat type question then what will you do nat numerical answer type question then you cannot take values are you getting my point okay so this is the idea so anyway that is the reason proper knowledge is required okay this is your target this is your question okay so take this as a question you have total n people total there are n people from these n people this is your target you need to create a you need to create a committee you need to create a committee with the president this is what you need to do. you need to create a committee with the president means in this committee there should be a president okay so you need to commit you need to create a committee with the president okay now this committee should have president like it's like a it's like a team it's like a team with captain it's like a team with captain like rohit sharma or whatever okay so you can just just think like that you need to create a team with the captain you need to create a team with the captain so what is one way what to do you directly select the captain right yes or yes. no actually this yes. happens in in bcci what happens first they select a captain like already for the next world cup captain is rohit sharma yes or no yes. now they will select the team so first they have already selected the captain so okay first you select the captain so there are n people you select the captain how many ways uh for captain uh, n ways sir after that uh, we so have once uh, you have selected captain like rohit sharma you have selected now yes. rohit sharma is there okay rohit sharma is selected now you need to select the team like now you need to select okay a subset because there is no limit like how many elements like it's not like team of 11 people no it can be a team of one people like if it is a team of one people then this if it is a team of two people then you have to select one people so basically you have already selected captain now captain is sitting this rohit sharma is sitting in the room okay so this rohit sharma is already you have selected now okay he is sitting now you need to select a team now you need to select from the remaining people there are remaining how many remaining n how many uh n minus 1 people sir so remaining people are n minus 1 people from these n minus 1 people you need to make a committee so how many committee you can make from n minus 1 people r r minus 2 power 2 power n minus 1 okay. because 2 power n okay every person either you can take or you don't take if you are making oh. a committee every person either you take or you don't take so we are uh, we are saying that we are going to take all the people we are going to make oh. we just sir, want to make a committee we just want to be unbalanced no sir it won't be even no like uh, what even like uh, the each uh, will have a different different no sir one set can have one member another set will have two or three members like that yeah so so what is the problem there is a society in that society like okay no not a society for example in go classes let me tell you in go in go classes we want content developer okay who can create nice questions quality questions now we have not decided how many people we will take we have not decided right okay so we can take maybe one people two people three people 10 people 20 people we can take any number of people and also we need to create one manager right okay if okay. we are taking five people then there should be one manager in the, in those five people in among those five people one should be the monitor or manager if we take 10 people then one of them should be manager so the idea is very simple that you directly take the manager first you directly take the manager who will be the manager okay you have taken the manager and c1 now we have not decided how many people we want manager we have already taken but the remaining n minus 1 people we can select any subset of them yes or no we can yes. select any subset of them so this is basically the commit this is basically the any subset 
this is any subset of remaining n minus 1 people is this clear yes sir i think this is not clear by the sound of your voice no no sir i am now i am able to understand sir, first i thought we have uh, every subset should be equal size like that no 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 it's not like that's that that's why okay it's not like that for now you can I... take one concrete example take a concrete example for example let's assume n is equal to 3 so there are three people like okay virat kohli Kohl, uh, virat kohli rohit sharma and uh, maybe rishabh pant okay these are the three people now what do you want you want to make a team this is what you want to do you want to make a team okay make a team with captain with the captain then what are the possibility first to directly take a captain so first to directly take a captain for example let's assume captain is virat kohli okay you directly take a captain now now there okay now it is my choice like if i only want virat kohli that's it that's it no okay i want to make a ipl team see it's like i want to make a ipl team so it is not mandatory okay this is a ipl auction this complete thing is a ipl auction now you know ipl auction it is not mandatory that you will take all the like I, you don't know basically you know that okay you need one captain so this captain you have taken maybe maybe these have been taken by someone else maybe these two players have been taken by mumbai indians okay maybe you are taking virat kohli as captain and the remaining person you took rohit sharma okay maybe virat kohli comma pant or maybe virat kohli comma rohit Koli, sharma comma pant or maybe now this captain can be rohit sharma then r comma v then r comma p then r comma v comma p or maybe this captain can be pant then then only pant sorry here here there will be r only okay only pant pant comma rohit pant comma virat pant comma rohit comma virat so this is the captain this here pant is the captain and here rohit is the captain and here virat is. so how many are there so tell me so, so tell me how many uh, how many such teams you can create with the captain how many teams you can create with the captain how many teams so i think 4 4 4 12 and you right. can check the answer will be 12 you can check answer will be 3 into 2 to the power 2 and that is also 12 is this clear now yes sir yes sir now it's clear. if there is any doubt take small example like okay. take small example and just check 